Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Karda. Myself Vinny Singh. So today's we are going to learn what is Lin Queue so, and uh, why we need to use Lin Queue. So first we will learn in three steps. Uh, first, in the, we will look what is the introductions re regarding Lin Queue. What are the basic operators and implementations? So first of all, what is Lin Queue and uh, why we need to use Lin Queue? So before learning Lin Queue, we need to understand the concept behind learning a Lin Queue. So take it example. Uh, we have to create one application where, uh, which is uh, which will works on wide variety of data source. That means uh, data source. RDBMS data source, XML file, uh, text file, array, collection classes. So working with wide, wide variety of data source, you need to know a wide variety of technologies or API. Okay, that means uh, for working with uh, RDBMS data source, you need to know about ADO.NET and uh, SQL commands. For working with XML, you need to know about XML API of ASP.NET, C Sharp and C Sharp language or any Java, uh, Java API, PHP API. So first of all, uh, the Microsoft introduced this uh, the framework Link Queue in a uh, Visual Studio 2008, which is uh, a uh, so .NET framework. What is Link Queue? Link Queue stand for Language Integrated Query. Uh, simply, we can simply define it as a unified programming model and framework for writing SQL query in simple language without learning SQL. Here, uh, here unified programming model means once you write a link queue query for a data source, that query will be fired and executed over the different data source. That means uh, if you have written a like, link queue query for a SQL database, that means uh, the same query will be used uh, for different data source like XML and uh, objects, collection classes and uh, strings. Okay. So what are the basic operators we need to learn while working with link queue? Uh, the first one is select, the second one is from, and third one is where clause, and uh, the next one is order by, group by, and the functions which you know uh, in RDBMS, sum, min, max, count, and everything. These are the, or uh, I'm choosing a .NET framework uh, 4. Point. You can choose 3.5 or even uh, 4.5, but you cannot choose 2.0 and 3.0 because uh, .NET framework introduced link concepts uh, from 3.5 onwards. So I will choose 4. Point. And I will select ASP.NET empty websites and I will rename it. I will choose this link queue and click on OK. And it will open the new solution explorer. Click on the project link queue and click on add. You have, you have to select add new item. Choose web form and I will let it same name default.exps. I will not rename it. Click on add button. So you can go to the design view. So there is nothing right now. So I first I think to drag the control and data grid view. So go to data and grid view, drag it on the page. So the uh, the default structure of grid view is look like 0 column 1 and column 3 so first click on it uh, project add new to add new item and we need to select the queue to SQL classes uh, so I will rename it DB data classes dot DML and click on add and the, um, the message box will prompt you uh, you are attempting to add a special file so click on S and uh, the, uh, the app dot folder will create it automatically and the code will place in that so I will, I will click it on S button and so here the file will create it yeah you can see that app folders and the files are here and uh, from this area designer you need to uh, drag the tables so first we need to click on we need to click on server explorer okay and click on data connections and click on add connections so we need to add connections uh, you have to type your server name of your sql server management studio so i will type the server name del hyphen pc and I will choose 
database i will pick the sync db and i will test the connection yeah test connection is succeeded now that means you are connected successfully with your sql server and click on ok so now you will get all the objects of your uh, database here click on arrow button expand yeah you can choose you can click on tables folder so you will see the tables list of tables in your uh, database sync db uh, you can choose any database right now i am choosing this one uh, so i will drag the product table on the design view okay so you have drag it and uh, you we need to build it first so i will rebuild i will need to i will need to rebuild okay it's building okay uh, uh we need to go to default.axp.cs file code behind file and uh, so you have to start typing your course syntax so it's a db data collection data classes data context which is earlier we have created create this object q the name dc is equal to new the class is created okay so we need to create a variable so we will choose where a new a type that mean it will uh, run time dynamic type you will specify dynamic types so i will uh give it name query because it's my query is equal to from keyword f in tc and when you click dot you uh we will drag only one table so type product yeah you can see that products okay now you need to select select f okay this is a basic syntax from clause and select clause and uh, we have drag it a grid view control so type the grid view control grid view dot data source is equal to query we are specifying data source query so in query the all the tables records are stored and we need to bind out this is similar we do with plain uh, edu dot net uh, data set in the tables and data bind functions it will bind all the data to the grid view okay click the save one and uh, build it okay run it yeah it will ask the options modify run without debugging click on okay it will take time yeah this run uh, running your uh, default.exp page we will see the data of table yeah here we get the list of the cos so binding with a grid view control previously we have to write a five to six line of code of edu rotated classes and then we can achieve uh, the this kind of list or a data so in this example in link we have not written any edu rotated classes or any functions or any methods we have purely used a link queue and one of the important thing is that you don't need to know about sql syntax okay so and the additional point is you can use the same query syntax to work with another data source like xml or even a classes or even objects so i hope you have understand what is link queue and how we can implement link queue so thank you so much for watching this video and i will create another tutorials on link queue like uh, xml how we can implement xml objects and so on thank you have a good day bye